happy people i'm back with another video and today i am back with week two of the spotlight collab challenge this week our theme is going to be tattoo nails or traditional tattoo nail art and the lovely lady who chose this design is tessa from sweet tea nails she's a nail artist who's super talented and that sometimes takes a gothic twist to her designs which is very different and super refreshing Next we have Ciara from Criminal Claws. She is a beast when it comes to acrylics. Her acrylic application is very crisp and her designs are super pretty. And so definitely go and check them out. Show them some love, show them some support. I am gonna leave their Instagram and YouTube link down in the description box below. So yeah y'all, let's hop into this look. First I'm gonna show you all the items that I'm gonna be using. I have my SXC base coat and top coat. I also have this beautiful green polish from Beatles. I have my McCart nail foil glue, which is what I'll be using to apply this foil here. That's also how I store my nail foils. Um, and then I have some really cool snake charms, which I thought were super cute and pretty. And then I also have some black bling here. That I'm going to go in with along with some nail art stickers which I thought really fit that tattoo nail art theme really well. I really like the old English letters along with the roses and such so yeah y'all let's hop into this look. So I am going to go in with my XXL full cover tips. I'm going to be making a press on set for myself. Well I guess you could technically say I do press on nails for every set since I use peel off base coat and pop my nails off afterwards. But first I'm going to go in with a thin layer of base coat on all of the full cover tips. Um, I wanted to avoid having to buff the nails so I went in with the base coat um, so that the gel polish could adhere very well to the full cover tip without any peeling. So now that all the nails have been cured for 60 seconds, I am going to go in with this beautiful green polish from Beatles and paint all the nails um, this lovely color. So the inspo for this design actually came from one of my best friends. We have been friends for over 10 years and honestly, you guys, he is like a brother to me. He actually has a green uh, snake tattoo that goes down the side of his right arm and i just thought that since we were doing tattoo designs and he had a snake tattoo i would dedicate this set to him so that is where i got my inspiration from i'm going to insert a picture um, of his tattoo so you all can kind of get an idea of where it came from so i love you bro this set is dedicated to you so this is what two coats of that green gel polish looks like now on the index finger i am going to go in with the old english nail stickers and apply them to the index nail i'm going to grab my tweezers here and i'm going to spell out the word slay i just thought that that would be very fitting just because i like to slay my nail art i like to slay my nail design so i'm going to do slay going down um diagonally on the nail so I did end up just applying the stickers over the gel polish. I did not go in with a layer of top coat. So the polish still had somewhat of a sticky layer to it. Um, I was okay with that. I do feel like sometimes they help the stickers to adhere a little bit better to the nail. So here I'm just making sure I like the position of where I placed all the stickers, pressing down. And that is nail number one for now. Now I'm going in with nail number two. This is the nail I'm a little concerned about because this is the nail I'll be applying, applying the foils to. So here I'm just trying to pick out what part of the foil I want to actually lay on the nail. And once I've decided what portion I want to be on the nail, I will go in with some scissors and cut that part out. And then again, I'm just trying to make sure I am going to place it exactly where I want it at. I had a hard time trying to decide what part I wanted to be on the nail because there was a lot of black in this particular foil and I didn't want that to take over the entire nail. But I did finally decide and so now I'm going in with my McCart foil glue. Um, I have done a lot of practice with this foil glue trying to get it to work. I practiced this off camera for about two hours you guys. <laughs> so I do have an updated foil video coming soon. I did try to film that. But anywho I'm going to go in with a thin layer of my McCart foil glue and I apply that on the nail on the areas where I want the foil to transfer. So I'm attempting to do a sideways French here so that's how I'm going to apply the foil glue to the nail. Again, you want to go in with a really thin layer of the foil glue to avoid any type of wrinkling. You'll see here that I actually did have a little bit of a wrinkle um, when I, once I applied my foil. I did find that curing the foil glue for 60 seconds and then letting it cool before going in with the foil was the best way to apply it for a nice flawless transfer. 
So here you see me placing the foil exactly where I want it to be on the nail. And then I'm gonna go in with my finger and just rub up and down on the center of the foil. And then I'm gonna rub on the sides. And I'm just gonna keep rubbing. I'm gonna rub, 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 literally until I can't rub anymore. Um, this week I wanted to challenge myself using my nail foils. I've only done foils on myself once. And I'll be honest, it wasn't my favorite set. And so, yeah, it almost didn't make it to Instagram. I actually didn't even record it, but yeah, I'm gonna insert a picture of what it looks like here. So foils are very difficult for me, which is why I wanted to challenge myself and use them in the set this week. Um, as you're rubbing, you are gonna find that the foil does start to separate from the nail. And at that point, you know that you're doing it right. So you'll wanna keep on rubbing, rubbing, rubbing until it starts to naturally separate. And then you can go ahead and peel that foil off. And wow, look at that, flawless transfer. So you can see there's just a little bit remnants on the actual foil itself, but it transferred beautifully. In the event that this happens, you can just go back over the spot where it didn't transfer. Um, that's the part where I was showing you that it wrinkled a little bit when, um, cause I applied too much gel. But just apply the foil back over it and rub it on in and you'll get that part covered up as well. Here I was just admiring how well the foil actually transferred onto the nail. Next I'm gonna move on to my ring finger. I'm actually gonna apply this stunning snake charm to the nail. I am gonna go in with my favorite nail glue from Beatles. I love using this nail glue to apply any type of charms or rhinestones to the nail. So I'm just applying it right there at the center. Then I'm gonna go in with that snake charm and lay it down and cure it with my, with my handheld LED light. Here I'm just checking how the design is looking so far and y'all, I was a little mesmerized by the bling on this snake. It was just looking so beautiful. I just had to take a moment and appreciate it. So once that is cured in place, I am gonna go in with my pinky nail and I'm gonna do that sideways French again with that transfer foil. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that um, it's important to use um, the same color gel polish or at least the color that's similar to the foil that you're going to be using So that in the event that you don't get a perfect transfer um, It's going to be not as noticeable So after I finished rubbing in the design I'm attempting to remove the foil and I realized that the sticky tab that I use to adhere my nail tip to the stand is actually sticking to the foil you see that glue there yeah so I tucked it underneath the nail but then on the other side of the nail you guys will see that that stuff did not want to let go of the foil so here I'm just trying to release it from the foil and hoping I don't mix up my design in the process um, so yeah you guys can see this wasn't the cleanest transfer there were some parts that got on the nail that I didn't want so I went in with the opposite end of my tweezers and just scraped off the parts of the foil that I did not want on the nail and so yeah that's how I finished up the pinky nail there um, and so now I'm just kind of like looking at the set trying to figure out a way to jazz it up um, so I'm gonna go in with the stickers and add some roses to the nails um, I go into the um, I believe the index finger yeah I go into the index finger and I go into the um middle and pinky finger to go ahead and try and make the set a little bit more interesting and really bring that tattoo theme to life Here I tried to go in with um, a snake sticker to tie in the snake theme even more, but honestly I thought it was a little bit overkill. So I felt like it didn't really go in with the set. So I decided to go in with this cute cat instead that's holding a rose in its mouth. And so that's what I ended up applying to the middle finger and the pinky finger. And I thought that really tied everything together nicely. So 
So this is what the nails are looking like so far. Um, Y'all yeah, know my sets wouldn't be complete without a little bit of blinktivity, so I am going to go in with some rhinestones. Today I'm going to adhere them using a top coat, and so on the index finger here, I'm going to be going along the cuticle area and adding in some black rhinestones. And on this nail in particular, I'm going to apply that the cuticle off to the left. So you all will see me applying that here. Alright you guys, so at this point I still felt like the nails were missing something so I decided to go in with Overdrive from Young Nails and outline the edge of the rose to really help bring it to life a bit. Y'all, this design really had me going through it. Like, I was having creator's block for this set and had to use a lifeline y'all. I phoned a friend because I stared at this set for a good 30 minutes off camera to decide what I was going to do next and I still could not think of anything so I called a friend and yeah I have to give a big shout out to them it's one of my close friends so thank you you know who you are I appreciate the sound advice um, that's how I got the idea to line the rows to help make it pop and I when I say y'all this really brought that design to life like yes, so I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture uh, to kind of show you all what kind of helped me with outlining um, this part of the design. But yeah, I love the effect that this gave the nail. So I'm going to let you all finish watching me outline the rows here and I'll be back shortly. So at this point, my daughter woke up, so I decided to leave in a little bit of the audio of her wreaking havoc and crying looking for mommy. So that is the crying that you hear in the background. You know, it's kind of interesting uh, when you're filming and trying to do content because the life of a working mom who also is trying to do YouTube is not easy, y'all. So as I'm finishing up the artwork on this nail, just outlining that rose, I found that it was really easy to do artwork on a nail that's not attached to your fingernail. <laughs> so yeah, I found that it was really easy to just be able to maneuver the nail in all these different directions, um, kind of any which way so that I could get the right angle to do the nail art. So who knows, I might try to make more, more uh, sets like this in the future where I'm doing it as a press-on set as opposed to actually doing on, doing it on my actual hands. But yeah, as I finish this up here, I'm going to go into the next nail here, which is my middle finger. And I'm also going to do some line artwork on there. But first, I wanted to do the rhinestones on this nail. And before I go in with that top coat, I did go ahead and press that sticker down one more time. So I'm going to go in with that top coat and apply it to the entire nail. As you can see, I'm applying it to that sideways French, essentially where that foil meets that green gel polish. I'm just kind of lining it up there um, so that it's it creates that really nice, pretty sideways French. And so after I finish applying it there, I do go in at the cuticle area off to the right this time um, above that cat and apply more rhinestones. I did go ahead and cure those rhinestones in place for 60 seconds. And then now you see me filling in um, that rose. Now I'm going into the ring finger that has the snake charm and I'm going to be applying top coat to the nail kind of going around the charm. This helps to seal that charm in place and I'm also going to go in with some rhinestones here on the side of each nail just to kind of tie that nail into the rest of the set and that's how it's looking. Isn't that cute? Just love it. This is how the set is progressing along so far. So good. I'm liking how it's turning out. Now I'm going to go in with the pinky finger and repeat the same thing I did on the middle finger, which is applying a thin layer of top coat, um, adhering all the rhinestones in that wavy sideways French, applying some more rhinestones at the cuticle area, and then curing it for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to come back and do some line art on the roses. So I'll let you all watch me do that and I'll be back shortly.
Okay, on to the thumbnail. So this one was kind of my challenge nail because I really had no idea what I wanted to do. So since I wanted to challenge myself with foils in this video, I decided to just go ahead and do a full foil on the entire thumbnail. And so, yeah, that is the piece that I have here that I'm gonna be transferring. Again, I'm going in with my McCart foil glue. I'm gonna apply a nice, thin, even layer to the entire nail. And once it's cured for 60 seconds, you let it cool for 30, and then you'll go in with applying the transfer foil. So here I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want the foil to lay on the nail and I accidentally let the foil touch the nail. Ugh! I was so frustrated when that happened. Now I'm thinking, okay, is the design still going to transfer properly? Is it not? I just go ahead and roll with the punches on this one and still apply it how I want it to be on the nail. And I go ahead and rub, 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 rub until you can't rub no more. Yeah, yeah, I was a little sad about that little patch there that you see. Um, had to say some words there, which would have caused me to say pardon my French, but um, I did not put that in the video, okay? But yeah, I'm rubbing in, and again, oh, that really made me sad. Do not do that, you guys. Learn from my mistakes, please. So yeah, you'll wanna just keep rubbing, keep rubbing until you can't rub anymore. I know some people actually use silicone tools to um, rub on the nail. I found that it's actually just a lot easier to just go ahead and use your hands. Um, because I have long nails in the video, there were some parts where um, it was easier to use the silicone to tool, but for the most part, I was able to use my nails. So once you have it applied nicely, um, if you pull up a corner and you see that it doesn't, it doesn't transfer, go ahead and pull it back down and rub, rub, rub. You can see here I did go ahead and pick up my silicone tool. Um, just to um, get into those really tight spots that I felt like I couldn't do with my long nails and At the top there you see that I had a wrinkle again You just lay the foil right back on and keep on rubbing until the image transfers onto the nail So I'm gonna keep on doing that um, Until I get it to transfer over I did decide to go ahead and keep this part of the video in real time just so that you all can have an idea of how much rubbing and lifting and checking you actually have to do when you're applying your transfer foils. Um, there was plenty of times on this particular nail where I was lifting the image and it did not want to transfer. So just wanted to show you all what it really is like in real time to apply a transfer foil. Um, you hope that you know when you're rubbing you can get it off in one quick motion but that's not always the case. So here I was finally able to get most of it to transfer. I got the corner in there real quick one more time. And at this point, I'm pretty satisfied with how it's looking. Um, and then to go in and fix that little patch that I had, I just found another image on the foil that looked similar to what was missing. And I just rubbed that part in. And luckily I was able to get it to look like it was, you know, that it didn't even happen. So I was pretty happy about that. And then this is another reason why it's good to have a background color that's the same or similar color as the foil you're using because mistakes like this can be camouflaged by it being a similar background color. So yeah, y'all, this is what that full transferred foil looks like. Um, that nail, it turned out beautiful. I was very happy with how this turned out. Look at that. You can't even tell that patch that I missed there. Um, yeah, I was very happy with how this transferred. Yeah, I'm giving myself a thumbs up there. I was very happy. So now I'm gonna go in and apply roses all over the nail. I decided to do essentially like a full bed of roses over top of this nail since um, the transfer foil was there, it took up the whole background. It kind of is a statement nail on its own, but I decided to go ahead and add some roses in to just to jazz them up. After I add the roses, I will go ahead and top coat the nail. While the top coat is still wet, I do go in with some more rhinestones and go ahead and apply them at the cuticle area. And then I also apply them at the tip of the nail, kind of creating like a sideways triangle in a sense. And yeah, I was really liking how that turned out. After I cured everything in place for 60 seconds, I did go in with the um, my detailer brush and outline the roses again i did that for the entire thumbnail all the roses that were on there i went ahead and outlined in black and yeah i really love how outlining the rose really brought more personality to the sticker so that was a cool little hack there 
This is how the set is looking thus far. And to be honest, at this point, I was exhausted. It was like two o'clock in the morning and I went ahead and went to sleep and I came back the next day to figure out what else I wanted to do to this set. And I decided to go in with Fizz from Young Nails and add a little bit more detailing to the rose. I kind of wanted to bring the little bit of white that was in the rose out um so that i could shade in the rose a bit to make it even more lively so that's what you'll see me doing here as i finish up that i'd actually end up going in and doing that to all the nails and after that i think we're gonna be all done here y'all So yeah, y'all, this challenge has been an interesting experience to say the least. I definitely feel like it's brought out um, different sides of me. It's been kind of like an emotional roller coaster with, you know, trying to be creative and different and thinking outside the box and things like that. But I'm happy that it's challenged me to be a better nail artist. And so, yeah, make sure you all come back next Saturday to see what theme we're going to be doing next week it's going to be an interesting one so yeah i'm going to finish up outlining the rest of the nails this is what the finished set is looking like and y'all know me i'm a little extra when it comes to my finished designs so, so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply these like i would any other press on and we're gonna get into the finished look y'all all right you guys ain't she cute though okay y'all this set right here, baby, it took me through some different stages, different emotions, but I'm loving how the end result came out. Y'all see, I got my snake theme going on. I'm loving how it turned out. I'm thinking it, it, it feels like tattoo vibes. Do you all get the tattoo vibes from it? I think so. Okay, y'all, so that's my second time doing foils on myself um yeah y'all i had to do a lot of practice with these foils to make sure i was going to get them to transfer properly but i'm loving how it turned out especially this thumbnail y'all see like the detailing on the roses like i love that and add a little bling here bling here i'm loving how it turned out um i did go through a couple of different phases with this design like i said y'all i was really trying i did a lot of practice okay so these were my practice nails that i did before i even started the set um i actually originally um going to go in and do the set over this pink so that it could pop a little bit more um but i decided to go with the green just to switch it up and make things look a little different yes week two tattoo theme challenge is done and i'm excited it's so funny when it comes to these designs right like how we have something in mind and then we can just completely scrap the idea and then go with something else so this was my little sketch that i did y'all i had no idea what i was going to do on the thumbnail but I knew that this was kind of how I wanted it to look. And I think I did. I think I did pretty good bringing this set to life. First, I wasn't really a big fan of how this set looked. But honestly, now that it's on and I'm looking at it, it actually turned out really good. Like, in this right here, I did the transfer foil. I did a full transfer, you guys. And it turned out pretty darn good. I'm really loving how it turned out. Like I said, like the detailing on the thumb, I was actually gonna go in and add a top coat, but I kind of like the fact that it almost gives like a 3D effect to the nails. And I did like the little shading around all of the stickers. And y'all see, I got the little cat with the little rose. You know, I really just try to tie every nail in together. But yeah, y'all, it's the charm and the bling for me, okay? I really hope that I did my friend justice with dedicating this set to him and his snake tattoo. So yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this look. So yeah, y'all, I had a lot of fun with this week's challenge. Be sure to go and check out the other participants. Um, I will leave all of their information linked down in the description box below. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!